Welcome back to the Booze Buddy Update for Friday, July 8th of 2022. Sammy Hagar's Honeypot, Vermont is beer, and booze for gearheads and jets? I don't know. Brought to you by Green Mountain Payments, helping local business owners save thousands of dollars by providing complimentary credit card processing equipment and zero-cost credit card processing. Visit GreenMountainPayments.com or POSN0.com today. Well, Sammy Hagar's Honeypot is not music, which might be surprising for a guy who has been in bands like Van Halen, The Circle, and pretty successful on his own, too. No, it's booze. Sammy said that he makes more from Santo Tequila, the one he started with the mayor of Flavortown, Guy Fieri, Cabo Wabo Tequila, and the Cabo Wabo Cantina and also a book on drinks mixology he just released. Music is just for fun, and Sammy's happy to talk about it, and he still loves to play music, which is good because he's actually on tour right now. Uh, get more, including a video of the Red Rocker himself at the link that is in the show notes. And Vermont is beer. Yeah, we have 51 states. You can go and have drinks when you count, of course, the District of Columbia. But not all of those states are created equally. Sure, several have breweries and some make some outstanding beer. But where do you go to get the best beer? Probably not Hawaii that came in at number 34. Definitely not Mississippi who came in at number 51. New Hampshire, not bad at number 22. But it was not really shockingly Vermont that ranks number one as the place to go for great beer. As the article puts it, quote, Vermont is a true beer lover's paradise, but Vermont is more than a critical darling. It is a state that's practically overflowing with beer, end quote. Don't take my word for it. Get the full scoop at the link that is in the show notes. And booze for gearheads and jets? Sure sounds like it with a name like Motor Oil Whiskey that's being referred to as Jet Fuel in a Bottle. The band Black Rebel Motorcycle Club is behind the booze that they collaborated on with Few Spirits to celebrate their first album being of legal drinking age. Of course, that's 21, by the way. The whiskey is described as sweet with a mesquite smoke flavor that, quote, evokes winding back roads, long stretches of highway, and pit stops at roadside barbecue joints of West Texas. Honestly, sounds pretty darn good. Look for it to cost about 59 bucks for the 93 proof state bourbon whiskey. Don't swap it out for motor oil or jet fuel. You know, unless you check with your mechanic first. Uh, do click on the link that's in the show notes for more info on the whiskey. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't drink and drive. Stay safe and drive sober. Support the booze that supports your local community. And I'll see you again on Monday.